Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Sharmat. In this session, we are going to discuss about another topic related to COBOL, where we will see how we can build relational condition with if statements. Okay. So this is very important topic because in this session we will see each and every type of relational conditions that we can utilize with if statements in COBOL. And whenever you are working on a project, yes, it is needed many times like you, you might face the conditions where you are supposed to utilize uh, the things uh, like relational condition with if statement. So that's why it is very important. So, we, but we will uh, discuss each and everything from scratch. So, here I have created one program already. So I'm going to walk you through this program. Taking option two here. Fine. Before we start, I just want to tell you one thing that basic thing we have already discussed in uh, like so far in every program. So now we are going to skip those portion because I'm assuming that now it is clear to each one of you. But still, if you are facing an issue, you can check out the previous session because there we have already discussed these things, right? But for now, we are just focusing on the relational condition part. And that thing we will discuss from scratch, okay? Like uh, I'm talking about identification division. So these things we have discussed, right? So identification division is printing the program ID, uh, the author, not printing. Uh, it is just to uh, store these information, right? Indicating the program ID as well as author name. Then we have comment. In comment, we just put the title of the session, which is conditional statement, relational condition. Okay, fine. Post that we have started or we have initiated the data division. In data division, we have working storage section through which we have declared one variable, which is uh, candidate age. So if I talk about this variable, the level number is 01 name data name is candidate age so whenever we access this variable we will access it with the name of candidate age picture clause is 9393 means numer it will hold numeric value up to three digit okay and then here we have stored the value as let's say 18 instead of 2 okay so this is the just this is just a variable that we are going to use for the demo purpose now post that from line number 13 we have initiated the procedure division Procedure division means from here we will write the main logic. So you can see I have uh, here I have written multiple conditions F condition although it is not recommended thing because I am I just noted down in this way just because uh, uh, to, dis to explain the things separately right but whenever you are writing a proper code uh, you can opt other uh, things that we will discuss like select conditions and other men uh, other sta branching things right but for now we are just uh, writing it in a separate condition just to explain the things parallel separately fine so let's focus on the line number 15 here we are checking if candidate age is equal to 18 then we are just displaying the message your age is 18 okay so let's check what we have initialized we have initialized 18 so this condition is true or false it is true why because candidate age is equal to 18 this variable hold 18 and this is equal to 18 so then in that case it will print the message your age is 18 clear fine so this condition will return the output then we will look at the second condition which is if candidate age is greater than 18 then print the message your age is gt18 gt means greater than remember the syntax okay although syntax is quite easy as we earlier discussed that COBOL is an English like language right so you can read it if candidate age is greater than so it is simple right so that's why it is uh, easy to understand by the developers so candidate age is greater than 18 so your age is gt18 so is this condition true as per our current value no it is not why because 18 is not greater than 18 so it will not return any output clear fine likewise if we proceed further here we have written if candidate age is less than 18 then your age is lt18 your age is less than 18 no it is not why because right now as per our current value candidate age is holding the value as 18 which is not less than 18 that's why this line will also not get executed fine 
next thing is line number 27 if candidate age is greater than or equal to 18 then it will print your age is g or e g or e means greater or equal 18 okay, as is noted in a short way just to show you the things but you can write in a full way okay so if candidate age is greater than or equal to 18 means either the value will would be the greater or equal then in that case it will print this message your age is greater or equal 18 so will this condition return any output yes it will return because here equal condition will get to will be satisfied right because 18 is equal to 18 so it will be printed okay let's move to the next one in next one we are checking if candidate age is less than or equal to 18 then it should print your age is l or e so this is also true because this time less it is not less than but it is equal to 18 so what it will print it will print less than uh, it will print your age is less than or equal to 18 because of this equal condition because this condition is true so this will get be this will be printed then we have if candidate is not equal because sometimes we also need to check not condition right so is not equal to 18 then you can print your age is not 18 and at last we have set the stop run just to terminate the program clear so i think now conditions are simple and syntax is also straightforward right we are just writing in a uh, english language only candidate age is equal candidate age is greater than less than greater than equal or less than equal to okay so you can simply write this okay let's verify the output I'll just compile it and call it you can see it is returning your age is 18 then uh, your age is greater than or equal to 18 because this is equal to 18 so it is returning this then your age is less than or equal to 18 because it is equal to 18 so it is returning this so these are the three conditions which is true and same thing we were expected right we are we were expecting so it executed successfully okay fine let's uh, try few more scenarios in this case i'll change the value let's say 20 okay or 28 that is also fine so let's see what all output we will get here because now sorry uh, let me take f12 from here yeah so it is compiled call so as the eight age is uh, 20 so first message is printed your age is greater than 18 which is true your age is greater than or equal to 20 so this time it is uh, this message is printed because of this greater condition because it is greater than 18 then we have uh, your age is not 18 this is also true why because this time age is not equal to 18 and it is printing 18 and less than equal to it is not uh, satis uh, it is not sat satisfying that less than or equal condition why because less uh, 20 is not lesser than nor equal to 18 and that's why we skip that part and it only print these three lines which is well deserved right fine okay let me show you one more example where we will try to pass the value lesser than uh, 18 so i just passed 8 here and this time if you try to compile it you will see it is returning your age is less than 18 your age is less than or equal to 18 because of less than condition and your age is not 18 because 8 is not equal to 18 which is true right fine so i think we have discussed uh, all type of scenario now there might be one question from you guys will it be possible to use symbols also so for that i have created another program i'll just quickly show you that so yes you can use this is the same type of program we just uh, let me remove this extra variable or fine you can skip this part okay this variable is not needed country we are just using this candidate age part so here you can see we are using the symbols equal so instead of writing equal to you can simply write equal then greater than equal to less than equal to greater than equal to so these are the all thing sorry this one is greater than equal to and this one is less than equal to so in the same manner you can write so it will also return the same output okay if i call it and compile it you will see your age is 18 uh, your age is greater than or equal to 18 your age is lesser than or equal to 18 so it is working as expected so this is also a kind of interview question uh, like uh, interviewer may ask can we use uh, symbols like uh, equal to or these operators in a COBOL program to check the relational condition so yes you can say yes it, we can use 
either we can write in a normal text way or we can use the symbols so both are allowed in COBOL clear so yeah that's all for this session I hope it is clear to all of you in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech channel